So today boys and girls I'm off to the city. I am going to a interview sort of event um, for the military. I'm studying engineering, you may know that if you watched my previous video, Mechanical Engineering at Flinders University. I'm in my second year and I was listening to Spotify one day and I heard that uh, the military is looking for mechanical engineers. So this is last year, bear in mind, so it's been a while, but I mean, they're always looking. It was just an, just an ad, you know how ads are, you know, just popping up. I have I, I premium now, <laughs> FYI. Um, that's not the point. The point is I looked into it and now I'm finally going there for a meeting and if uh, I pass this interview and a basic physical test, um, and I seem like an appropriate candidate. They'll uh, sponsor me through through my remaining years at university, uh, and once I finish university, they'll um, they're kind enough to give me a job for the uh, the time of time. I don't know what it is. The time of study I was with them. Um, so it'll be three years. I'll be with them for three years, which I mean. Some people think of it as like a lockdown kind of shitty contract thing, but I just think of it as guaranteed work, man. Guaranteed work for three, four years with a military, look great on the resume. Don't have to worry about applying after finishing uni and competing with all these other students that may or may not have better grades than me. <laughs> this is probably all of them. Also, I have a new tire on the back, so I'm being very careful. So I'm going to see if I can get into either the Army or the, um, the Air Force. I don't know about the Navy. I just, uh, doesn't tickle my fancy. I'd still do it if there was anything open. But, um, yeah, just a preference thing, I guess. Navy or the, uh, sorry, Air Force or the Army. When I was 16, I uh, went and got my pilot license, which was so much fun. I was flying by myself when I was 16, which was, I didn't, I didn't think you could. I'm mean, like, come on, man, you have to be, well, in Adelaide, you have to, South Australia, South Australia, I don't know about the States, but you have to be at least 17 before, you, uh, before you're allowed to drive a car by yourself. Like, that's the minimum age. And I'm here 16, flying and landing an aeroplane by myself. It was crazy, and then after a while, I just got a bit too hard, and I wasn't enjoying it because I was in year. Th I eventually, I got to year, year 12, and it, it just became too much. You know, all the study I had to do for that, and all the study I had to do for for school. So sadly, I dropped it because it was becoming a bit too much. But I, I miss it so much. It was so much fun. Very expensive. That's another reason why I, I dropped that. I was actually wanting to. At that age, I wanted to get a, um, a sponsorship or whatever, a traineeship or a recruitment thing with the Air Force, with the military back then, because they'll train you, they'll pay for you, and then, like I said before, they'll, they'll give you work, which that's what everyone wants, really. Work. And also, I'm six foot two, so I'm a bit too tall for commercial flying and you know, it's probably like at the barrier of being too tall, so I thought, bugger it. I won't risk doing all this and then not being able to get a job, which would suck ass. Can I split this? Probably not. Presto. What are you doing? It's a bit stupid. 
Technically, she should give way to me, but I mean, I ain't gonna risk it. She's gonna hit me. <clears throat> Almost there, guys. Nine minutes away. Woo! Sweating balls, man. Four minutes away. So <laughs> good. I know what I've typed my bike. Uh, there's bikes over there. Probably turn left here. It's okay. We're early. We can we can find ourselves a good park. Just have a peek down here and see if there's bike stuff. I don't think so. What about here? Yay. Okay, just finished, got some good news at least after dropping my phone and it smashing, which was very sad. Um, but yeah, I'm one step closer to getting that scholarship. I, we did an aptitude test, I got good grades. I'm pretty much eligible for everything I want. Which is good. All I gotta do now is um, prove to them that I'm going to uni, so I'm off to uh, uni now to get this um, form saying that I'm currently studying with them and what I'm studying and how many years and all that crap. And we get that. Now I gotta give them a birth certificate, all that kind of stuff, get a couple of references written, and um, Bob's your uncle. And once I've done that, I do an interview with a board, and uh, they will decide whether or not uh, they give me the thumbs up or not. That's just interviewing you on um, basic knowledge of the military, I guess, what you're actually enrolling in, why you want to do it, all that kind of stuff. That's not a park space, but that guy parked like a dickhead, so fair enough. Angry motherfucker! Did you see him? Holy shit, he was grumpy. He had the whole like bottom lip, bottom lip tucked over the top lip kind of kind of look going on. Fuck. That's why I hate cruisers. The people that ride them. Doesn't hurt to smile once in a while. <laughs> what a bitch. That got you far, didn't it? No, now she's on her phone. Okay. Damn it.
Cool, all done. Cool, so transcript is in the process of being made, I guess. I could have paid 40 bucks to get it now, or wait, 20, I'll get it next week. I said, fuck it, I'll get it next week. Because uh, now all I got is uh, references, um, birth certificate, that kind of stuff, and then really I think I'm good to rock and roll. This is where I went, this is the, my campus, my uni campus is just behind there, and that's the view we get. But now my uni campus has changed, and I'm um, down that street just two minutes away. So guys, I reckon that right about wraps it up for this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed listening to my daily kerfuffles, I guess. Um, next video I might try to do some kind of group ride or... I've actually got handlebars. APANG is riding for this, so it might even be an installation of that. We'll see, who knows. But um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you watched to the very end, I appreciate it. And hope you guys have a good week. Catches.